Okay, let's continue, so. Yeah. All right, uh, so now we're going to move away from sample spaces and look at how uh, we might talk about probabilities from a table. Um, so what the idea is that we can use, oops, we can use a table to represent uh, the story. So for example, um, maybe we'll take the first one as an example just to show you the idea here. So in this example, I ask a hundred people do they like, or do they prefer, I should say, tea or coffee? Or maybe they don't like tea or coffee, so in that case, that's neither. Neither meaning <coughs> not tea, not coffee. So I asked a hundred people, do they like tea or do they like coffee? And uh, then I get the results and I can put them in a table like this. So here is the male people and the female people that I asked. And these are the people who said they like tea, they like coffee, and neither. Okay? Uh, that's why I changed it to the word prefer rather than like. Uh, tea, males, 20 said that. And then 20 of the men also said they prefer coffee, and then 20 said uh, neither. And for female, it's uh, 10, 10, and 20. So writing it like this now, it's not too difficult to answer questions if I scroll down. So the first one, let's say the probability I pick someone and they like tea. So I just pick somebody, what's the chance that they like tea? Well, how many people in this table like tea, if you were to read this table? Thirty. 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 Is okay? So the answer is thirty over a hundred. Yep. Okay, what about if I said probability that they like coffee? That's gonna be the same, although the thirty is from here. Now, I pick someone at random, I want to know what is the probability that they're male. Well, if you look here, how many men are there? There's 20 that like tea, 20 that like coffee, 20 that like neither. So there are 60 males. So that's 60 over 100. Okay, what about this? Probability that I get a male... Female. And, okay, female this time then. Female and she likes tea. Sure. Um, yeah, well, that's there. There are 10 women who like tea in this one. 10 over 100, 0 0.1. Okay. Now let's. Uh, now that we get the idea, let's look at a more difficult one now. Can I scroll down a bit here? So if I wrote something like this, 
this vertical line. Does anyone know the meaning of this vertical line? No, and was this symbol. This means and. A <laughs> good guess. No, uh, or is this one. And it's not not. What's the probability that I get a T that's not female? I'd say most cups of tea are not female. <laughs> so I think that would be one. Um, Sean? Yeah? You're talking, so you have the answer? No. Okay. Does anyone know this symbol? No? Okay, no. Uh, this is the probability that you get someone who likes tea and then the meaning now is given that they are <coughs> female. So what I mean here is that you know in advance that they're female. You're only looking at the probability of someone liking tea among the female participants. Uh, it's like this is something that you already know. So now you're not uh, thinking about the possibility of getting a male because you're only looking at the results from the female people who responded. Yeah. Yeah, so in this case here, how many females uh, were there? 40 females. And how many of them liked tea? 10. So in this one it's 0 0.25. So in this symbol here, it means I know in advance that I'm only looking at females. An example you're more maybe familiar with is what's the probability that it will rain later today given that it rained yesterday. You already know this. It's not random. You know it rained yesterday. This is the thing you want to know. And of course this affects this. I'll give you one to try that's like this just so you can practice. So, what's the probability that the person is female given that you know they like tea? So this is the opposite. What's the probability that the person is female but you know they like tea? You're only looking at the tea drinkers. Okay? Try that one. Yeah, just give you one minute to write it down. Yeah. If the, um, if the F is lighter. If F is what? Lighter. You mean like on the right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. It means it comes first. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, it's the past. Mm -hmm. It's not in le uh, order like this. Yeah. So this one here is the past. You know what's happened. Yeah, and this is like the present or the future then, yeah. Yeah, you think about this first. So in this one, uh, how many tea drinkers do I have? Let's see. I have 30 tea drinkers. And how many of them are female tea drinkers? 10. So one in three. And you can see that's a different answer to the last one. So the order is important. Uh, the order is not important here though. If I said what is the probability that they're female and they drink tea, that's the same thing as asking what's the probability that they drink tea and they're female. If I say what's the probability that they're female, stop talking down the back. You've been doing that now the last minute and it's annoying me. Stop it. Uh, probability that they're female given that they drink tea is not the same thing as the probability that they drink tea given that they're female. Okay, so read carefully please. Uh, let's have a look at another one.
Uh, but let's look at a harder one here, if I can scroll down. Okay. Let me get it here, actually. Do you have this written down? Mm. Yep. Let's get this picture up here. Um, okay. Scroll down? Yep. Okay, uh, so let's see. We're talking about university. So the university has different departments. So Department A, B, C, D, E, and F. No, it only has this many departments, okay? And um, we'll split the applicants up into two. So we have the male people who applied and the female people who applied here. Okay. Male female. So either two things happened. Either they got in or they did not got to get in. So they were rejected. So either they got accepted or they got rejected. I'll just write A and or. They don't have space. So either they got accepted or rejected accepted or rejected. Okay, so let me just put it Line here. Do you understand what? So, for example, here, this one would mean the men who got into Department A, they were accepted, and this means their application was rejected. These are the women who were accepted, and then the women who were rejected in their application. You understand? Yeah. Uh, okay. So let me just. Get the numbers here. Um, okay. I don't want to work it out. I'm actually, the reason I'm looking this up is because I actually have real numbers because this is a famous example uh, with Berkeley University. Yeah. Berkeley <coughs> in, the, in the States. Uh, now I'll have to, Rats, I'll have to work it out. One sec, one sec. Okay. Okay, if you can write these down if I call them out. Uh, so we'll say for Department A, the men who were accepted is 511. And then rejected, 313. Okay. Oh, this is going to take forever to do. This is going to take forever. I'll pick a smaller example. Yeah, I'll pick a smaller example. In fact, what we'll do is we'll do the one that's in the book. So if you can look at Number seven. Do you all have number seven open there? Yeah. yeah. It'd be much easier if I just do this. Uh, okay, so let me explain what's happening in number seven. A person is sick, and there's either two things wrong with them. They either have small or large kidney stones. I don't know if you know what this is. 
the problem with your kidneys. You have small or large stones. So there are two things that you can be wrong with them. And when they go to the hospital, they have a choice. They can get treatment A or they can get treatment B. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Maybe this is one medicine, maybe this is a different medicine. So if you look at the table, how many people, for example, um, had small stones and they got treatment B and it worked? So look at the table and tell me that, please. They got small stones and they w got treatment B and it worked. It was successful. How many people were that? 234. Okay, what about people who large stones, they got treatment A and it didn't work for them? 71. 71. Okay, so now that we understand the table, let's have a look at these questions together. So the first one, how many patients got treatment A? How many patients got treatment A? In total? Yeah, so it's going to be 81 plus 6 plus... 192 plus 71. So, what is it? 350. Good, that's how many people got treatment A. B. How many people got treatment B? 234 plus 36 plus 55 plus 25. Okay, what's that then? Three fifty. Okay, so so far seven hundred people went to hospital. Three hundred and fifty got A. Three hundred and fifty got B. Okay, C. What is the probability of being successfully treated with A? Okay, so how many people got A in total? Three fifty. How many people were successful with A? 81 plus 192. What's that? 270 over... Oh, 273 over 350. Uh, what's that as a percentage, please? Exactly. Right, D. What is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment B? Uh, on the top would be 234 plus 55, which is 289. What's that, please? 82.6%. Okay, so part E. Which treatment is better? B. Are we all agreed? Yeah. Why is B better? Yeah. More successful. So, we all agreed B is better. Agreed? Okay. So, F now. What is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment A if you're somebody with small kidney stones. Okay. So you have small kidney stones. How many people have small kidney stones and your probability of being treated with A being successful? So what's on top here? 81. And on the bottom? 81 plus 6. Now, why am I not looking at the 192 and the 71? Because large stones. Yeah, so why am I not looking at them? Because in the question I said, we know we're only looking at people with... Small. Yeah, if you, have a, if you have a small kidney stone. Yeah. We're only looking at these people. Okay, so what is this? Say again? Uh, because we're only looking at people who were treated with A and they had small kidney stones. 
So we don't care about the people who were treated with B. We don't care about the people with large kidney stones. You walk into the hospital and two things happen. That person has small kidney stones, you know this, and they're going to get treatment A. You want to know how successful they'll be. So you go into hospital with small kidney stones and you say, doctor, give me treatment A. You want to know how successful you will be. So what is the probability of your success? 93.1%. Uh, so into the hospital you go with your small kidney stones, give me treatment A, 93% success. Not bad. Okay, G. What is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment B if you have small kidney stones? Uh, if you have small kidney stones, on the bottom is 2, 3, 4, and 36. On the top, 2, 3, 4. So you go into hospital with your small kidney stones and you say, Doctor, give me treatment B. What's your probability of success? 86.7. So, H. If you go into hospital with small kidney stones, what is better for you to ask for? Treatment A or treatment B? A is better. If you have small kidney stones. Okay. Question. Yeah. Uh, at first, and as you asked, you said successful, but we should Well, yes, we're getting to that. The big difference here is I said if you have small kidney stones, whereas earlier it was just any old thing you could have. Uh, I. What is the probability of being successful with treatment A if you have large kidney stones? Okay, 192 plus 71, and on the top here is uh, 192. What's this, please? 73 percent exactly, okay. J, what's the probability of being successfully treated with treatment B if you have large kidney stones? 55 plus 25, and on the top here is 55. Okay. Uh, what's the probability here as a percent? 68.8? Okay. Which treatment is more successful if you have uh, large kidney stones? A. So, A is better if you have large kidney stones. Okay. Now, here's where it gets interesting. L. Which treatment is better if you have small or large? Which one should you choose? Well, if you have large, which should you choose? A. A. And if you have small, which should you choose? Okay. A. So if you have large or small, you should choose A. Because we said that one is better for small or large. So in other words, A is better one. Earlier, we said, and you all agreed, I asked you to agree, you all agreed B is better. Sounded like all of you agreed. And then we finish up here. A is better. So the last part is M is to compare. So what happened? Why is it that at the end we said A is better, but earlier we said B is better? It seems like they're opposite. Doesn't make any sense. And the reason I did this is because I wanted to show you that it's not always as simple as you think. Even something as simple as this table, depending on how you look at it, you can get different answers. Now, if you're wondering why did this happen, why did I get two different answers to the same question? A very simple question, which is better, A or B? We have two answers. In the beginning, we said uh, B is better. Then when we looked at it more, we ended up with the result A is better. Of course, one of them has to be better. Uh, which one do you think it is, A or B? 50-50 chance? No. One of them actually is better. That's what I'm asking. Which one? 
A is better. Uh, and the reason, what's happening? Um, this answer is more accurate because when you were looking earlier, you did not care if they had small or large kidney stones. Yeah. Whereas now, in the second answer, you do care if they have small or large. And you might say, what difference does that make? Well, the difference is this. It could be that maybe treatment A is better than B. But the people with the large kidney stones, large kidney stones are worse, maybe more of those people are going into the, uh, uh, the hang on, let me just write this down so you can be clear. A is good, B is bad. Small is easy to fix, and large is hard to fix. Now maybe uh, a lot of people with the large kidney stones, that's the hard one to treat. Maybe uh, they went into, more of them went into the, the good treatment. And maybe the people that have the small kidney stones, maybe they went into the bad treatment, more of those. So what's happening is, basically the problem is, not everybody got the same treatment equally. You know, if it was half the people went here and half the people went here and half the small went one way and half the large went the other way, then it would be easy to compare. But if you actually look at the table, if you flip to the table, you can see that the numbers are quite different on the A and the B side. Like, for example, um, if you look at the people with the large kidney stones, yeah, look at the people with the large kidney stones now. What's this about? 260 or something. And how many people have large stones in treatment B? 55 and 25. So what's that? About 80 people. Now that's not, that's not balanced. In fact, most people with large stones, they went for A. And this is the cause of the problem earlier. This is the reason why it looked like at the beginning B was better and then later we discovered a is better. This is the reason why. If this was a real hospital and you want to know which is better, half the people with large would go this way and half the people with large would go to B. But that didn't happen here. Yeah. And because of that, it's why it looked like it was confusing. So this is an example. This is a very hard example. I don't think you would get an example as hard as this in the exam. But the reason I wanted to show you this was that even something as simple as a table like this you can actually be quite complicated. Okay? But for the exam, I would say 1 to 6. And we already did number 1. So if you can do 2 to 6 now, that would be enough for the exam. If you want to know more about this particular example, and uh, this is a very famous one, it's called Simpsons Paradox. This is when it looks like you get two different answers. Yeah? If you wanted to read more about it. So can you try two to six now, please? Lee Cow's in trouble over there. 
Oh, Where were you on Friday, Lee? Mm-hmm. After lunch? <laughs> Lee? Mm-hmm. Lee? Yeah. Where were you on Friday after lunch? I came with Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, how come the students said they saw you in Starbucks? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Question. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I didn't say what is the probability of passing. I said what is the probability of getting a pass grade. Yeah, so although you had a brilliant idea, I'm sorry, my answer is right. (laughs) It's still wrong though. What is the probability of getting a merit? Yeah. Well, yeah. Should be twelve over twenty-five. What did I say? And it should be. Oh, that's just a mistyping. Don't you have some maths to be doing? Hang on, you make a workbook with. 10,000 questions in it, and you tell me how many typing mistakes you made. What? Sorry, I can't, can't quite hear you. How many was that?
What? Leave me alone. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong now? Drama. What? Drama. What drama? Which question? Drama. Grammar. Oh, I don't care about grammar. That doesn't affect your maths in the exam much. Yeah, all about English, not grammar. That's different. <laughs> What's my grammar mistake? What did I say? Or what did I type? A, B, C, and very great, and half great, and so great. <laughs> Which one? Two, A, B, C, and You know what I was doing? Copy and paste them. Okay. <laughs> Good <question. laughs> okay. I found the king is some problem on Wikipedia. Good. Yeah. yeah. Exactly the same. Yep. Yep. Wow, it's so hard to think of a question. Well, it is for this topic. It's much easier for me to come up with an equation than a story. This is not one of my core skills. English, please. I'm hearing very Chinese sounds down the back. English? Now you're asking for English. Yeah. I said, I didn't, I'm not fussy. It doesn't have to be good English. It just has to be English. I'm not picky like that. Yes? How about the 3C? 3C. What about it? Uh, maybe one. Maybe. A viewer is selected at random and it is a child. What is the probability the child spends less than one hour a day? Yeah. So that would be 5 Ooh. over 30. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, good, good. It's okay, I forgive you. Physics drafts? On, oh, oh yeah, you didn't, did you? <laughs> okay, let me just double check the attendance here. Uh, see, Amelia, yeah, Tony, yeah. Where are you? There you are. 
Clement? Yeah. Where? There. Jonathan? Yeah. Donna? Yeah. Dylan? Drew? Hanukkah? Yeah. Yash? Eric? Andy? Ah! Where's Andy? Do we know? No? Okay. Oh yeah, his legs. Yeah, yeah. Dennis? Sarah? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Fahad? No. Nope. Okay. And then... Um, right. Andrew? Yes. Bruce? Mm -hmm. Monica? Yeah. No, Chrissy. Uh, Jerry? Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> you hear Jerry? Yeah. No, that's his Chinese name, but he prefers to be called Sean. Yes. It's not you. It's not usual. Wait, wait, we're not finished. We still have one minute left. <laughs> Which one? Are you sure? 100% sure? 100% sure <laughs> it's wrong. There's not even a 1% chance you might be wrong. Ah, oh, no, KJ, don't do that. Wait, wait. Wait, okay. Uh, we'll look at that in the tutorial, maybe. Uh, Sean, next. I saw his hand first. And 